Hello everyone, the seekers of knowledge. Welcome to the gardening, which is a way of showing that you believe in tomorrow. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned gardener, join our green community, where we share some tips that will help you to cultivate your passion for gardening. Today, we will discuss about red spider lily. It is a perennial bulbous plant having unique shape stunning flower of red color called higanbana in Japanese. It is also known as red magic lily. Corpse flower and equinox flower. It is called red spider lily because each flower has long petals that look like spider legs. Its scientific name is Lycoris radiata, which belongs to Amaryllidaceae family. It is mostly found in shady, moist areas along slopes and rocky areas near stream banks. Let's see the appearance of red spider lily. Number 1. Leaves. It has dark green color, strap-like leaves, emerging from the ground before the flowers appear. Number 2 stem. It has a long, smooth stalk that emerges from the ground and can reach a height of up to 20 to 30 inches. Number 3 flowers. It is striking flower with bright red petals and long stamens, blooms in late summer or early fall. Number 4 roots. It has bulbous roots that grow underground which help to anchor the plant in the soil and absorb water. This plant is 60 centimeter in height. Let's discuss the cultural significance of red spider lily. It is often associated with death and the afterlife in Japanese culture. These flowers connect the world of the living to the world of the dead. They are planted near cemeteries and used in funeral ceremonies. In Japanese culture, it is seen as a symbol of reincarnation. The red spider lily is believed to ward off evil spirits. It is used in Japanese paintings and other forms of art. The unique shape and bold color of the red. Spider lily have inspired artists and poets. It has prominent feature in various festivals and celebrations in East Asia, especially during the autumn season. It is associated with the bittersweet emotions that come with parting ways. Let's see the propagation of red spider lily. Number 1. Bulb formation. Red spider lilies can produce small bulbils around the base of the main bulb. These can be carefully separated and planted to propagate new spider plants. Number 2. Propagation by division. It is the most common method for propagating red spider lilies. It involves separating the bulbs into smaller sections and planting them individually, provide proper conditions to grow new spider plant. Number 3. Propagation by seeds. Sow the seeds in a well-draining seed starting mix and provide light. It requires more time and patience to propagate spider plants by seeds. Number 4. Tissue culture. It is a more advanced propagation method that involves taking small pieces of tissue from plant and growing them in a sterile laboratory environment under controlled conditions. Red spider lilies prefer full sun to partial shade for at least six hours each day. They prefer slightly acidic to neutral soil with good fertility. They prefer moderate watering for proper growth. Apply a balanced, slow-release fertilizer into the soil. They are resistant to pests and diseases. Take appropriate measures, such as organic pest control methods if necessary. It requires a period of dormancy to rest and recharge, apply a layer of organic mulch around the base of the plants, this helps conserve moisture, suppress weeds, and provide some insulation to the bulbs during winter. Let's see the adaptations of red spider lily. It has long, narrow leaves that reduce surface area, minimizing water loss through transpiration. The vibrant red color of the flowers attracts pollinators, such as bees aiding in effective cross-pollination. The plant grows tall, with its flower stalks make it more visible to pollinators, increase pollination. They produce nectar for pollinators to visit the flowers and transfer pollen between them. The bulbs store nutrients and energy, allowing it to survive during periods of dormancy, they can tolerate partial shade, enabling them to grow and adapt in various light conditions. It has a high level of fire resistance the bulbs are protected underground and bloom after a fire has passed, red spider lily which act as a defense mechanism against herbivores due to presence of toxic compounds. Let's see, the medicinal properties of red spider lily, it exhibit antiviral properties which shown potential in inhibiting the replication of viruses, it has inflammatory properties which reduce inflammation by inhibiting the production of inflammatory mediators, it has anti-cancer effects which inhibit the growth of cancer cells and induce apoptosis. It has antioxidant properties which protect cells from oxidative damage and also neuroprotective properties which protect neurons from damage.
which is caused by oxidative stress, it show acetylcholinesterase inhibition to treat Alzheimer's disease. Let's see, the benefits of red spider lily, red spider lily is used in gardens and floral arrangements to add a splash of color and beauty. It is used for medicinal purpose due to presence of licorine, the scent of red spider lily flowers may repel certain insects such as mosquito and flies. Photographers often capture the beauty of red spider lilies in environment. Its shape and color make a popular subject for artists and crafters. Red spider lily can be used in educational settings to teach students about plant anatomy, classification, and the role of flowers in reproduction. Let's discuss the toxic effects of red spider lily. Lycoris radiata contains some toxic compounds that can cause gastrointestinal irritation if ingested. Its bulbs can cause skin irritation. Contact with its sap can cause eye irritation. It can lead to difficulty in breathing. Ingestion of this plant can cause low blood pressure, irregular heartbeat, coma which may lead to death, and convulsions. The toxicity of red spider lily is due to the presence of some compounds. Licorine produce vomiting and diarrhea. Homolicorine has similar toxicity to licorine. Narcyclosine disrupts cell division. Galanthamine inhibits the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. Seek medical help if you get seriously injured by red spider lily. Thanks for watching video subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for watching latest videos.